I mean, the bottom line is we're in an era of negative discovery, where the more we learn, the more we realize that we just don't understand. Yeah, this is incredibly complex. We're a giant planet hurtling through deep space, orbiting a gigantic sun. I mean, and they're saying that humans exhaling five and a half pounds or flatulence from bovine that have always been on the planet are deadly. Oh, but a tax will save us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of this stuff is absurd. And the sad thing is that many conservatives are actually, who actually know it's wrong are saying the wrong thing. You know, the Conservative Party in Canada, for example, before they came into power, they said they were going to get to the bottom of the climate change Kyoto scare. Once they got into power, their spin doctors clearly told them they could get more votes if they just changed their tune and said the same thing as Al Gore. And so that's what they've done. And I'm really ashamed as a Canadian to have our government saying things they know very well are completely wrong. We find that it's strange, but with the liberal government before our current conservative government, they would allow the occasional climate skeptic to come into committee hearings to testify. But ever since this supposedly conservative government has come in, they've actually closed oh, yeah. the door totally. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at Newt Gingrich. Look at Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is not a partisan issue. It's an issue of people that want to regulate and control our economy and vertically integrate it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and it's also an issue of a lack of courage on the part of many politicians who know that people like Senator Inhofe are right. They, a lot of politicians know that. I, I've talked to many of the MPs in Canada behind closed doors, and they know it's a scam, but they're afraid to say it. And we need a lot more courage and leadership in our government. Well, I agree with you, sir. We're going to go to break and come back with a final segment uh, on the other side, so please stay with us. Tom Harris, Executive Director of the International Climate Science Coalition, uh, is our guest. We'll talk about what he's witnessing in Copenhagen and uh, if the climate gate information is disturbing uh, this globalist event. We'll be right back. Every time I think about it, I won't cry. We're Tom Harris, Executive Director of the International Climate Science Coalition, a massive scientific group set up to counter the IPCC. We've only got about five minutes left right now, sir. And so I'd like to talk about what you're witnessing, what the mood is there, uh, wh- wh- how Climate Gate is affecting the different 191 countries there, how the Danish text doubling the cuts for the third world, resulting in just genocidal starvation, uh, what the mood is there right now. Well, I think you have to realize, first of all, that both India and China have stated off and on throughout the whole year that they have no intention of restricting their economic growth to cut carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases. So I think the chances that they would have agreed to even a more benign treaty on their part were pretty slim to begin with. And also in India, we're starting to see the growth of a lot of climate skepticism. You know, many of the Indian glaciologists, for example, are completely rebutting the UN on on Himalayan glaciers. So in India, I have an interview today actually with an Indian journalist. We're seeing the rise of climate skepticism like you've never seen it before. And I think that what's going to happen is that with these uh, increased demands on the third world, they're just going to turn the whole thing down flatly. And, this, you know, it's interesting because in the United States, I understand that um, even the Democrats are saying that without agreement from China and India, they're just simply not going to go ahead. But that's so the I- problem. We have the AP headline. White House threatens command and control, says EPA will override Congress. That is putting the cart before the horse. That is tyranny. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, I think that's pressure, a pressure tactic to try to get them to pass uh, Kerry Boxer. Uh, And it might succeed. The trouble is, of course, uh, what do you do with all those cheap imports that are coming from countries who said to heck with uh, greenhouse gas controls? I mean, it's just a, a death uh, sentence for the American economy. Exactly. As a sci- I mean, as an engineer, let's say carbon dioxide is a deadly nerve gas. It kills all plants and animals. Polar bears can't swim. Everyone's dying. Pay all your money to Al Gore. He will save you. He's the eco-prophet. Let's say that's all true. You, you only put carbon controls on the West. It moves to China, India, Mexico, where they have no controls. Overall, the devil gas, the man bear pig gas, uh, that's a South Park episode if you don't know, sir, uh, increases, increases, then we're all dead. I mean, it'll, it'll kill us. Well, I mean, one it, of the craziest things is China passed the United States in net carbon dioxide emissions in 2000, 2007. And even without these kinds of international agreements, you know, even if they just allowed them to continue to grow, they're going to be double the United States within about 20 years. 
So, in fact, if you don't get them on side, the CO2 emissions for the world are going to virtually stay unchanged. I mean, they're going to continue to rise, I should say. But, you know, one of the important things to realize is that um, throughout the world, there's, there's countries who are now starting behind closed doors. Saudi Arabia did it in, actually in the U.N. meeting. They're starting to look at the climate gate data, and they're starting to say, this is actually uh, an engin- a social engineering project more than it is environmental. And we've heard within the Canadian government people telling me, look, it has nothing to do with environment anymore. It's all politics and money. Sir, you're a, you're a very influential man. Let me just, I'm on, I want to mail you a copy of my film Endgame. Sir, they admit at the U.N. this is eugenics. They want to cut. Maury Strong, the head guy, says it's to destroy industrial society. And, yeah, and we well, need to... F- I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, Kyoto is the flagship of the world governance uh, program. I mean, you can see that very clearly. If you control the world's uh, CO2, you're controlling most of the world's energy. And if you're controlling the world's energy, just as Russia demonstrated when they turned off the taps on the national natural gas supply to Europe... You basically control whoever is at the other end of the tap. All right, reporting to us from Copenhagen, Tom Harris, ClimateScienceInternational.org. Thank you, sir. I look forward to having you back on again. Righto. Retransmission starts now. Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com. Great job, crew. Spread the word. The revolution against tyranny's on. Yeah.